when he says, we have to live it.
to our very own Reverend Raymond Cottrell, who will be joined in holy matrimony. This Saturday here at Galilee at 5 o'clock p.m. To those of you who are tuning in, get a little bit We have a special announcement. During the month of October is a month in which congregations all over this country are showing appreciation for their minister and their pastor. And we want to celebrate Pastor and Sister Cole. The deacons are asking that we show our honor and appreciation for our pastor and his wife. COVID has kept us from having pastor's appreciation this year. And Sister Coleman's birthday was September 8th. And pastor's birthday is next week on October 20th. We are asking for your support and showing your love to them. For pastor's anniversary, Sister Coleman's birthday and Pastor Coleman's birthday all at the same time. Please mail a greeting card, a memo, or a letter with your expressions of love. And here in writing, put my good eyes on here, take my, my bangles off. <laughs> expressions. Is spelled this way. E X P R E dollar sign I O N. Those of you who can, please do. Expression of our love to them personally for this these occasions. And also, please let Pastor and Sister Coleman know how you are doing. And if there is anything they or Galilee can do for you, thanks for your blessings. Thank you for remaining faithful. Thank you for your loving kindness. And thanks be to God for you. Reverend L.D. Coleman and Sister Hattie Coleman, the address is 1431 Cambridge Boulevard. Again, that's 1431 Cambridge Boulevard, Fairfield, Alabama, 35064. Pastor's phone number is 205. 223-9468. Sister Cobra's number, 205-516-1564. Again, let's show our pastor and First Lady Sister Hattie Cobra how much we love and appreciate them, even though we have been apart due to COVID, for both of their birthdays and for Pastor's anniversary that we didn't get the chance, where we didn't get the chance to celebrate our pastor during his early anniversary month. We thank God for you, and we thank God for them. Today's scripture will come from the 10th chapter of the book of 
Joshua. Verses 7 through 10. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal. He and all the people of war with him. And all the mighty men of the And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not. For I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. And Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discovered them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gideon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horan, and smote them to Azekiah and unto Megiddo. Whatever it is that we're going through, however the enemy is defined, we being children of God, should know that just as God stepped in for Joshua, today he can step in for us and tell us to fear him not. Whatever the enemy is, whoever the enemy is,
gave you more than I could give. I gave you love. I gave you all that I have inside. She went on to say, and you took my love. You took my love. Didn't I tell you what I believe? Did somebody say that? A love like that won't last. Didn't I give it to you? All that I got, I gave it to you. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I. But she went on to say, this is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. That's what I want to talk about. No ordinary love. Jesus in our text opens by saying that I am the true God. And my father is the husband. That every branch in me, tell, tell your neighbor, I'm a branch. <laughs> every branch in me that bears not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. I don't know about you this morning, but I've been in the church for years, but I still need some purging. I don't believe a fits that I'm in the church by myself. Reggie, I don't believe that. I think that I got some folk in here that need some purge. You may be in the pulpit, you may be deacon or wherever you may be, but you still need some purge. And God is purging you that you may bring forth more fruit. Now, now watch verse 3. He said, now ye are clean through the word. Yes. I, I have to, and when he purged me, he cleans me with his word. Yes. He cleans my feet. So I won't walk in the council of the ungodly. He washed my mouth so I won't say the wrong thing. He cleans my hand so I won't lay them on the wrong thing. Somebody help me here today. Yeah, he, he, he washes, you know, in the morning when you get up, you have what they call matter in your eye. He cleans your eye so you can see clearly now. I have some witnesses here. I, I steadily, every day, no matter how much I read and the word builds me up and the word cleans me every day, he purchased me to make me better credential today than I was yesterday. And I'm going to be better tomorrow than I am today. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm in here by myself, but I know I'm being cleaned every day. I have not arrived.
provide I'm the comfort. And it's his word that cleans me every day. Somebody help me in there. I, 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 I need washing, y'all. I, I need a good bath every day. Oh, I know. You, you say, well, you're a pastor. You're a preacher. Yeah, but I still need some cleaning. Uh oh. Huh? And guess what? You do too. Oh, somebody help me. I know I know I get somebody here. He said, ye are clean through the word. Is that right? Which I have spoken to you. Now then he says, if you abide in me, and I in you. Amen. I, I, I want to be in him. He in me. We can't have I'm in him and he ain't in me. I, I got to have both. I got to be in him and him in me. Is that right? And, 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 and as, as a branch, this is just a, I'm, I'm a branch. Remember I told you you're a branch. We cannot abide in the vine or be a branch in the vine without him. Is that right? We, we can't bear fruit by ourselves. We, we got to be hooked up. Amen. Somebody help me here. You, you, you got to be hooked, hooked up to the vine. That's where all my strength comes from. Is because I got a hookup. You know, I've used this before. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to be like a cell phone when you get in a certain area. You try to dial a number, you can't get it. You got no signal. See, he said, listen, I, 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 you, you got to pardon me and I. In you, I, I need to stay hooked up. Have yeah. I got any hooked up folk in here? Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Now, now, the branch cannot bear fruit by itself. I got to be hooked up to the vine in order to bear fruit. Now, notice, he said he burns you so you can bear more fruit. Is that right? But I got to abide in him and he abide in me. We got to stay hooked up that I can bear fruit with him. Yeah. Right here with he said, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. It's dangerous. It's bad. That you live in the church for years and don't bear no fruit. You just come to the church. You came and left. You'll have a witness here. But you didn't bear no fruit. Now watch this. And and I in him the same bringing forth much fruit. But watch this. For without this is just Jesus talking. Without me, you can do nothing. You know how some of us want to try to do our own thing. We can do it by ourselves. I need him. How I many of you need him today? Amen. I, I need him. He said. Without me, you can do nothing. I've learned the old life I used to be when I was younger. I just try to do stuff all by myself. And leave God out of it. Oh, oh, somebody in here. Yeah, you try to do some stuff. And you try to do things and you try to do it without him. But I learned something. It's far more easy. To abide in him. 
and let him guide. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. Do I have a witness here? Then he says, if a man you can't if you want to. And you don't have to. He said, if. He says, man of God, not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. When you lose your connection to the vine, you are die. I say you're with them. You're, you're, you're not. You don't have that hook up. You don't have that, 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 that spiritualness you need. That's what happened to Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden when they messed up. They lost their hook up. But then Jesus said, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you. You shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Do I have a witness here? Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be. My disciples. Now here comes the love part. He said, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Let me say that again. As the Father, Jesus talking, has loved me, so have I loved you. Love you. And he's telling us today, look at that next word. He said, Continue ye in my love. So if you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. And now I know for God's soul, nothing yes, that he gave his own man, begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah. Well, I'm finna get ready to leave you, but he said, these things I have spoken to you. That my job, he said, my, my job, not, not, not Trump's joy, not another man's joy, but he says, my job. His joy is different than man's job. But when he gave you joy, he said, this is what he said. He said that, that. These things I spoken to you that my joy might remain in you. That's why we say this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and if the world didn't give it to me, the world can't take it away. This joy might remain in you. And watch this. He said that joy, your joy might be full. When you're full of joy, no matter how your circumstances make you, you can say, I know the Lord. He's going to make a way somehow. Got tears in the eye, but somebody know that have said that the right side. Some do I have a witness here? I come to tell you that there's no ordinary look. Do I have a witness in here? He said, This is my commandment that ye love, mm. that ye love one another. As I have loved. This is what he said. This is a commandment. It's not an 
one another. Can I have somebody in here today? I want you saved. I want you in heaven. I want to see you one day in heaven, walk around heaven all day long. But one day you got to have, you got to have, to have love for everybody. Go ahead, be all right. Quiet, yeah, yeah. You got to love one another. I, I learned, I learned sometimes people have little disagreements and there don't be no little disagreements because I learned you can't please everybody. But you have a little disagreement and it blows out of whack and it gets all out of shape. And people develop hate in their heart to one another over some little minor thing. Do I have a witness here? We're living now time for people we're killing each other up over nothing. But the Bible said that ye love one another as I have loved you. I'm going on home now. Not going to hold you alone. But he said greater love. I said greater love. I said, greater love. And no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his freedom. Didn't take his life. He laid it down. He laid it down that we might have a right to the tree of life. Yeah. I'm talking about a greater love. Right. This is not an ordinary love. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? I'm glad today that he loved me when I didn't even love myself. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? I'm, I'm glad today that my God is a God. And he got all power in his hand. Aren't you glad today that he loved you? That's the reason you are not to have no problem giving him praise. Do I have a witness there? You, you are not to mind raising your hand and giving God praise for what he's done just for you. Somebody in here Oh, I feel it now. He, he made way out of love. No way. Somebody here today has been in a rough situation. But the Lord, I said the Lord brought you out. You're not a man letting the redeem of the Lord say so. Because God has been so good to you. Do I have a witness in here? Oh, I, I'm glad today because God has brought me a mighty long way. I don't mean to be selfish, but I, I don't know about you, but I know what the Lord has done for me. And he made ways out of love and no way. And he said, the greater love that one dog found on a place called Calvary. But he didn't give his life. He laid his life down. He laid it down for you and for me. Ain't God all right? They stuck nails in his hand and put nails in his feet. Put a crown of thorns on his head. I heard him say, Father, I said, Father, Father, forgive them. He said, Come when I tell you what, when I talk about them, I'm talking about your great granddaddy, your great great granddaddy, your daddy daddy. I'm talking about, let me go and look for your son and your daughters. And you talking about them because all of us come under them. Forgive them for they know not what they do.